If you've been thinking about getting solar and batteries for your home and been confused with all that's going on, trust me, you're not alone. Tax credits are going away. Net energy metering policies are changing. And it's got some homeowners wondering if solar and batteries still even make sense today. But there's good news. They do. And companies understand the new climate that we're living in and are making products for it. That's why we partnered with EcoFlow to give you a first-hand sneak peek look at their brand new Ocean Pro series of home energy storage solutions. Now, this system might be my absolute favorite of 2025. And in this episode, we're gonna tell you why systems like this can absolutely save you money and make a ton of sense, even in this modern climate. Oh, and by the way, we're installing the system on Yama's house. He's my sponsor manager who makes this channel possible. So super excited for this one. I'm Ricky, and this is 2 DaVinci. Yama is our sponsor manager. He is the one that books us deals, these integrations that we have, and that is what makes what we do possible. When I went full-time on YouTube, leaving my software engineering job behind, I didn't know how I'd do it, and that all changed when I met Yama. What's up, Yama? Hey, it is guys. so good after all these years, all the cool stuff we've done in my house, to be over here to do this on your house. I know, I'm super grateful. Sorry for all the bad ads that we've done over the years. <laughs> We're trying to grow the business, so you guys can put all the blame on me, not Ricky. <laughs> I force him into those things, but Super excited for this. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the Ocean Pro system. This is the main service panel. And this is a smart panel, by the way. And it's big, 40 spaces. So that means most homes, you can be able to fit all your loads in there. In fact, all the loads in this home are in here, including a couple of sub panels and everything else. From here in your app, you can go look at each individual circuit, see what's pulling what power. This is the main inverter. And this also has a screen that tells you the battery state of charge. I don't know if you can do that here in the direct sunlight. But the crazy thing about this unit here is this is a 24 kilowatt inverter. That means with these batteries right here, with at least two of them, you can output 24 kilowatts. That's enough to charge your car at full speed and EV, turn on your air conditioning and pull like pretty much everything in your house at that point. That is really powerful. And what gets even cooler is this actually has eight MPPT ports for solar, each good for about five kilowatts, which means that this inverter can take in the solar for 40 kilowatts worth. Eight strings, five kilowatts each. I've never seen a system with that much built in. And earlier when I said that this can save you money, this is how. If you get panels, and panels are super cheap now, this has the inverters built right in. All you gotta do is run the strings down, tie it into there, and you're in business. The EcoFlow Ocean Pro also gives you amazing flexibility for solar. Here's why. Yama's house actually has very minimal southward facing roof line. South facing would be the ideal place to put solar in the northern hemisphere. Instead, most of his roof faces eastward for the rising sun in the early part of the day, and there's also a little bit on the west for the end of the day in the evenings. But because EcoFlow's Ocean Pro has eight inputs for solar, he can apply different strings differently. So you wouldn't want to mix these strings. That would hurt the final output. So what he could do is have one or two strings for the eastern part, one string for the western part, and then one string for the southern part and get as much solar as you can. By the way, if you already have solar and you don't want to lose any M2, this is the kind of system that can help you with that because these solar panels, all they can ever do is charge this battery. It cannot go back to the grid and you can make it completely island and keep that energy here for yourself. I love that feature. Then we have the EcoFlow Ocean Pro batteries. This is 10 kilowatt hours each. So this is 10 and 10. Combined, this is actually more energy than like a Tesla Powerwall, which is probably closer to 14. This is 20. So it's a great amount of storage. And our goal for Yama's house, at least until he gets solar, is going to be for these to charge during his lowest energy cost time from midnight to 6 a.m. and then power his whole house during the really expensive times. And we'll show you just how valuable that will be here in a minute. But these two systems, they get daisy chained together, they flow on the wall, they can be outside, and they look beautiful. They've nailed the aesthetics. This is one of the most attractive battery systems I've ever seen. Now let's talk a little bit about safety. The Ocean Pro is designed for the real world and climates that you live in. 
It's designed to operate in conditions of up to negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And their LFP battery pack features an advanced thermal management system that continuously monitors every cell and connection point for overheating risk. Its 360 degree aerogel insulation helps regulate battery temperatures, preventing thermal stress even during peak loads or harsh weather. Each battery module is equipped with a built-in fire prevention system that activates automatically in the event of an external threat, offering an added layer of protection for your home and family. And with IP67 rating, the EcoFlow Ocean Pro can withstand up to 3.3 feet of water, ensuring continuous operation during floods or other extreme weather. I have installed nearly every battery on the market because eventually we want to start our own electrician business and offer this service to others. So I always look for unique features and brilliant design considerations that can bring prices down. The days of getting solar without batteries are just over. And in the new era that we live in now, the Ocean Pro stands out as a truly remarkable cost-effective option. And as for exact prices, we'll have links in the description where you can get your own consultation and ask EcoFlow any questions that you have. Because depending on your house and your specific use case and where you live, prices will vary. He also added this. This is the EcoFlow Ocean EV charger. It ties right into his panel and he can detect how much energy it's using and schedule it and program it and all the rest. Now for the really crazy part. Did some numbers, did some maths here, okay? So, Yama has three billing tiers based on time of use, on-peak, off-peak, and super off-peak. In his first full month at his new place, here's how much energy he used in each tier. Now, for a bigger home with a pool, these numbers are actually about average, but what's crazy are his prices. 36 cents for super off peak, 49 cents for off peak, and a staggering 73 cents per kilowatt hour on peak. All in, his first electric bill cost him $1,172. So now that he has a EcoFlow Ocean Pro, here's how that would change. We'll program his battery to charge at super off peak periods from 12 to 6 a.m. Charging 18 kilowatt hours per day is 540 kilowatt hours per month. So we can charge 540 kilowatt hours during super off peak periods and reduce his on peak by the same amount. So before he even gets solar, just from charging when prices are cheaper and discharging when they're expensive, Yama can save about $200 a month. And to make this even easier, EcoFlow even has an AI time of use mode, which takes all the guesswork out of it, uses AI to figure out your most expensive parts of the bill and save you as much money as possible. And his system would pay for itself in just a few years. So now that you've been here for about 30 days and got your first electric bill, I'm just kind of curious, what, were your, <laughs> what was going through your head when you opened that letter and just saw how much it was? You know, my first thought was, I'm going to sell the house. Um, <laughs> that was immediate, my reaction. And then my second reaction was naturally to call Ricky. I'm like, I need help. We got to figure this out. So for a lot of people, there's two things. One is just using a lot of electricity. You have an air conditioner, which every house has pretty much. You have a pool, but you do have a variable speed pool pump. We check that out. Yeah. But it's also that 70. Did you know about that, by the way? 70 three cents per kilowatt hour from four to 9 p.m. You should just become Amish. Just yeah. turn everything off, <laughs> light some candles, sing Kumbaya, whatever, whatever you guys want to do. But it's that combination. So why don't we walk through a little bit and tell us a little bit about your house and like what you've got going on here. So obviously you got your EV charging. Yes, we have a Tesla Model X that my wife drives. It's been great. We've used it a few times now and it's been perfect. So we have a jacuzzi, pool, and this definitely uses uh, a lot of energy. We have a waterfall as well that goes back there, which right now I'm not using it at all. If you wanna see it, you're gonna have to wait till I have solar because my bills are too high. Um, but this definitely uses up a lot of our, our energy in addition to our air conditioning. Okay, time for the off-grid test. We're gonna just surprise the system and pretend like the grid just went offline and see how it responds. We've got kit garage lighting up here. Let's see what happens, are you ready? One, two, Three. You see that light flicker? There's a little flicker in that light for an instant, but it's like a 10 millisecond or less response time. And now, Yama, we are off grid. I just turned off the grid and you wouldn't even know that the power was off other than the fact that it tells you here on the phone. So it says grid outage, battery left five hours. That's the smart part about this is, let's say it's just like a one or two hour outage, which is what happens for us in Southern California all the time. Mm -hmm. Don't change anything. Just have the air conditioning running, be in your pool, do whatever you want to do. But if you know there's wildfires or there's a storm and there's like down power lines and you're thinking it could be multiple days, that's when maybe you go, all right, maybe we turn the AC off. You know, maybe we want to be a little more, uh, be a little more cautious with it. The cool thing too is if I turn this breaker back on, by the way, that 200 amp breaker is quite a thing to throw back on. But when I do, the power won't just immediately come back. What it'll do is it'll wait 
and wait for a pure, nice, clean side wave. It might take like four or five minutes and it'll wait four or five minutes just to make sure that you, sometimes like the grid will come back and off and on and you don't want to just keep surging different levels of, of AC to appliances and stuff. So it'll keep all your electronics and like the more sensitive equipment safe and it'll monitor the wave and as soon as it comes back and it's predictable for a couple of minutes, it'll be like, all right, cool. And it'll switch back and get you back on online. And don't forget, by the way, to turn on StormGuard. And what you do with StormGuard is you just turn that on and it'll monitor the forecast, NOAA, like the weather channel, and look for like large flooding events or a hurricane comes through or wildfires and it'll override whatever you told it to do and just charge to full and be at standby just to have maximum backup potential for you. So then the genius of the system by having such a big inverter, you don't have to pick and choose what are critical loads and what aren't. You just back up your entire house. That's what Yama has now. Every light, every switch, his pool pumps, he could power them if you wanted to. Plus, with that smart panel that can shed loads based on the state of charge. During a two hour power outage, he can run his air conditioning and not even miss a beat. Do whatever he wants to and make those decisions in real time based on what's happening. Second, these batteries can be modular and scale up and they're much more economic than getting something like a Powerwall, for example. This would be a smarter way to be able to scale up the size of storage that you need as you need it. And finally, by having eight MPPTs for solar inputs, you can have strings in different orientations with different levels of shade. And maybe you have four now and you add two in 10 years, you have all that flexibility. Remember, it's a smart home panel. It does all the monitoring for every circuit in your house. And it's the gateway, it controls everything and keeps this safe when the grid goes down it disconnects the grid monitors it and reconnects it as you need it and it does all your energy arbitrage and savings and backup power all in one unit and that is why this thing is absolutely genius and ecoflow has knocked it out of the park i have seen them from smart home panel one which we installed and two we're about to install smart home panel three and this is the most all-in-one whole home solution that ecoflow has made to date and it is a thing of absolute beauty. Gets my house recommendation. Definitely check it out. We'll have links down below to learn more about this system. Thank you, EcoFlow, for giving us a chance to install this and check it out for ourselves. And stay tuned because we will keep adding more stuff to this. We'll see how the solar inputs work and see how much solar we can add to this in a future video. So like, subscribe, and stay tuned for that. I'm Ricky Da Vinci. Thank you so much for watching.